Bolt Friends, July 13th. It feels every bit of summer right now. We have the real deal that's going to rumble the pier in a few seconds with that horn. That's a thousand four foot. James R. Barker. Let me give you a quick shot of Lake Superior. Take a look. We have the area lift bridge all the way up to 135 feet. Let's first get started with the weather. I'm going to show you marine traffic and a sneak peek of the vessel. Let's get rolling. Check it out. Here's the beast, JRB. I'm going to be zooming in on these dual anchors. Also, when those horns start to blast, I'm going to zoom in on those horns as well. And that's right there at the very top of the superstructure in the middle, right below that radar in that area. So you'll see me zoom in on that. But I can't wait to check this out with you. The JRB is going to come straight off of Lake Superior right by us. We are right here on the South Pier next to the aerial lift bridge. It's going to go through the Harbor Basin under the Blotnick Bridge over to CN Dock to load iron ore pellets, a.k.a. taconite. And we are going to go in the boat, friend's boat. After it goes by us, I'm going to go grab the boat. We're going to go over to the dock and check it out. The weather today in Duluth, Minnesota, hopefully you can tell that I have a smile on my face. 82 degrees, visibility for the captain, 10 miles. And, you know, we will call this hot here in Duluth, but it's so funny. A lot of you boat friends in Arizona, Nevada, and other places around the world that it's very hot. You look at this and you are laughing. You're saying this is air conditioning to you right now. But again, it's all perspective. We are sitting here in the land of the frozen in the winter. So that 82 degrees, we love it here right now. Let's go onto the lift bridge. Listen to the hum of those tires. I want to give you a shot down Park Point Beach. Anytime it's in the 80s, these beaches are jammed, people having a good time. That cold water feels good on a day like this. Take a look at that flag up there. Give you an idea of what's going on with the wind. Let me give you some information about this awesome ship before it comes through. James R. Barker, built in 1976, 1,004 feet in length, owned by the Interlake Steamship Company, was built at the American Shipbuilding Company in Ohio. Two diesel engines pushing out about 16,000 total horsepower. Cargo holds seven hatches 36 it also has two controllable pitch propellers two rudders cargo capacity 63,000 tons and as we know it's going to be coming in empty and it'll be heading over to the cn ore dock in just a few moments you'll also see that 250 foot boom I'll take a look at this beast as it gets close to the piers another thing that i want to show you really quick take a look at that green flag and the people are out on the beach that just signifies that it's a uh, very low warning with rip currents here in Duluth on Lake Superior. Check it out, boat friends. It should only be a matter of moments until we hear the captain unleash the beast. You can see the dual anchors on the bow. The stacks are pumping away. There's a crew member right there on top of the bow. Draft is sitting at 22 feet.
boat, friends. What a show by the captain. No joke. 129.6 on the decibel meter. The horn on this vessel is no joke. I want you to take a look at the stern side, back side of the superstructure. Look at that water pouring out. Take a look at the radar. Magnificent vessel. It is so hard to describe unless you are here in person. You can feel the vibration just going through your body as that vessel lets the horn blast. And like I said, that is unleashing the beast. That horn is no joke. Show you some of the kick up here in the canal. Wow. That was awesome. And you know the people over there on the North Pier and here on the South Pier. What an awesome event for people to see in person. Unbelievable. Boat Friends, take a look at that sailboat to the right. We're going to go right now on the Boat Friends boat and check this vessel out on the water at the dock. Let's go. I'll give you something kind of cool and behind the scenes. You have the area lift bridge down in that direction. I'm on the Superior Bay. Over here in Wisconsin, we're going to go over here to fuel up really quick before we go see the Barker in this direction. This is how you get into Barker's Island Marina. That's where I go to fuel up. Sitting at about 13 feet as we head in. So now you can see the marina and there's hundreds of boats and sailboats all throughout here. They have private slips for everybody. And then over here on the right side, this is where I'm going to go. This is the fuel dock right here. So this is where I come quite a bit, but it's a really nice spot over here, this marina. All right, done fueling. Let's head down towards the Barker. Something that I want to point out to you, every time that you see the weather that I have on the screen at the start of the videos, it always says Sky Harbor Airport in Duluth, and that's at the end of Park Point. That's Sky Harbor Airport right there. The proximity then to the aerial lift bridge is about, I'd say, three miles, four miles away. Let me give you a better look at one of these channel markers. Kind of roll up right next to it here. There's an old bridge right there that's now a fishing pier. We are going under the Blotnik Bridge. The right side is Duluth. The left side is Superior, Wisconsin. And we are heading over to CNR Dock. As you can see in this direction, we're going to check out the JRB. That is docked and you have to stick with this video to the very end because i met a boat friend on the pier his name is dave from ohio and he wanted to pass along a message to all of you what was it like being in person for the first time in duluth witnessing and hearing that 129 decibel blast from the jrb so stick with it to the very end you're going to want to hear what he says i zoomed in some more for you so you can see that boom that is hanging over the starboard side as it loads the iron ore pellets, aka taconite. You see the Duluth hillside in the background. I would go closer for you, but this is private property from the dock all the way back there to where the ship is, this loading terminal. All of this is public that you can be on boating. You have people that fish here all the time. There's our friend, the JRB. Take a look at it loading right now. Take a look on the screen, 40 feet right here. So plenty of depth for these huge ships as they go out fully loaded. Got a bald eagle flying right there. They're always fun to watch. Boat friends, real quick break in action. We have Dave here from Ohio. You can see the hat. Got some boat friends hat and the shirt to match. Now, this is the first time that Dave ever saw the JRB here in Duluth in person. And Dave, the question is this. How do you explain that horn to the boat friends in person? Uh, it's great to be here, first off, Mike, thank you. Um, boat friends, if you have the chance to come to Duluth, you need to, because seeing in person is unbelievable. And I've seen Mike's videos of the JRB before, and I've heard the horn on the video, but when you're here in person, your chest vibrates, your eyes yep. wiggle, yep. Uh, it is unbelievable. After it went through and the horns blew, I just was so like happy I was here. What an exciting uh, 10 minutes 
Again, if you have the chance to come here and see it in person, I highly recommend it. Well, boat friends, if you enjoyed the JRB and that crazy loud horn going out on the boat as well and all the other things that we did in this video, please hit the like button on the way out. It'll allow people like us that love the ships to be able to find this channel. Also subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're a good person and you want to be a part of the Boat Friends community, hit the subscribe button. Come on back. Let's have some fun with the ships. As always, thank you so much for being a part of this channel and watching these videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.